So with the way people play games, you can really split it into two categories, casual, competitive. Not in like a competitive esports, trying to make the Olympics type of thing, really just like ranked modes and leaderboard, that kind of way. And then casual is more of just like purely for fun, no like skill ambition with it. And because of that time commitment and reward for that time commitment, really just gonna drop competitive games or just playing them competitively like the ranked modes entirely just cause it's, I mean for two reasons, like starting with the time commitment, the amount of hours you gotta put in to get to a high rank is usually a like a good good amount like yeah the better you are at the game the more you can shorten that time but in general it's going to take you a good while to go from like a bronze or an unranked all the way to like a the fact that they still call it predator is absurd but like that or a radiant or whatever they call it in league but yeah it just became a massive time sink I said this on twitter not that I got motion on Twitter, but I said it on Twitter. Whereas with casual games, it's really just what you make it. Cause like with story games, or even just if I wanted to play like the finals, that's the game I like a lot as far as shooters go. Like the games be like 15 minutes. So if you want to just get on and play a few, get off, like you can do that. But if you're trying to get to a diamond is the highest rank in that game, you cannot do that. You will not make it probably. And for that time commitment, your reward is a skin. Like this is the skin I got for hitting diamond in finals. It's hard. I'm not gonna act like it ain't hard. It shine brighter than a lot of rappers' chains, but I don't need another one. You also probably gonna get something of a title or a banner or a badge, something to say I did it and you didn't type of thing. Whereas the casual side of it is really just like the reward is just the fun of it. Maybe you got on Minecraft and blew up your homie's house, or you finished Black Myth Wukong. I need to get that game. That game looked hard. First game in a while that's actually looked like a full on next gen game. Like it looked like a trailer. And I was watching my friend play it through a Discord stream. So like, that's at 720p, not even 1080 or 1440. Even like the small games like Jassant, it was like a narrative climbing game. That game was cool. Or Deathloop I liked a lot. Sifu I never finished. I need, mean, I was just getting whooped, honestly. I just got stuck. So maybe I'll go back and finish that. But anyways, yeah, the reward of it is just the fun of a game. And it's not a real time constraint to it like you gotta do this by this date type of thing and what this isn't which should be clear by now but in case someone takes it this way it's not to say stop playing video games like i saw a video a guy was like yeah you shouldn't play video games at all like i used to play 16 hours a day and now it's just like it's just freed up so much time for me i'm like yeah because you put 16 hours a day you can put too much time into anything any hobby you could paint paintings for too long or sleep in too much or watch too much netflix like that's just that's just moderation in general a lot of games now they really focus on like how much time people spend in a game like per play session that's like a goal there is to extend that as much as possible the more you in the game the more they can hit you with this like hey man we got this new store we got this event limited time by the way it's never gonna come back which is probably cap it's gonna come back but we're gonna say that's not gonna come back so you can buy it like right now and a lot of that stuff you just gotta ignore like buying skins like if you don't buy a skin whatever bro like it's it's your money you can do what you want with it i wouldn't recommend going crazy with it like apex had a 700 hundred dollar event which was wild me and my friend skull king we we were playing apex the day that event dropped in the death box that came in that event saw it first game somebody bought the mode had just dropped or like the event just dropped someone that already blew almost a band on this an extra band because if they did it that time they probably like at least 5k deep in the game they already spent the money with the limited time stuff or even just like seasons and battle passes there's always going to be like the next new shiny thing you know and they just try to make it seem as pressing as possible or even with those rank rewards i brought up before one of them in apex was uh skydive trails for when you like drop out the ship and they just started taking them away i think the first two seasons of rank so like season two and three if you got it at that time you still have it today but season four and onwards i ain't got it. none of those trails you have it for a season they take it away try to get you to get another one it's like dog luckily i got the first time i got diamond was in season three of apex so i have a trail if i wanted to use one and like if i lost it it's not that big a deal but it's just like that's the type of stuff games will do as a way they try to entice you to just get back on the grind one more time one more season or even like weapon grinds that can be a little bit of a time sink too but there's no real deadline on those usually at least i don't think so so it's not it's not in the same category because it's not like you gotta do it this season or it's all gone type of thing it's just like you can eventually get to it it's just still gonna take a lot of time to do it and it's just like another thing that could take away from another game that you could probably enjoy just as much and it just has a little more variety I never really did weapon grinds. I think I did it, I did it one time in middle school. I think it was like Black Ops 3 of COD. 
but yeah, that was really the only time. I was also in middle school. Like, what am I doing at 13 years old? But yeah, that's all to say. Some moderation is good with everything. Find a good little balance. It goes into just really just enjoying games. If you've been down, like, oh, all games are bad. Gaming is dead or this thing is killing gaming something like that i made a video about that topic entirely that you can go watch right now after you leave a like subscribe to the channel but yeah i'll see you over there bye <laughs>